Hey guys, welcome to another video from Love Lawns. I'm Kai, and this is the Palenque Helion 2 handheld hedge trimmer. This is their commercial grade hedge trimmer, and it's a heck of a unit to be honest. Really, really good. It's got a super large tooth spacing of 40 millimeters, which is the largest I've seen on any hedger. Uh, blade speed is 3,800 cuts per minute, which is a little bit slower than some of the other competition, but in actual use, it's plenty fast enough and it does a really nice cut. It's got a rotating handle, which in my opinion, all commercial hedge trimmers should have. It's just so much easier when you're going along the sides for any length of time. So it turns 90 degrees both ways, which is great. And it has speed settings on here, one, two, three, and four. I generally just use it in four the whole time. I don't really, I've never used a hedger in a slower speed setting than its fastest setting. I don't know why. Maybe do you guys do that? I don't know. Um, just as fast as it can go, really. I'll tell a lie, actually, the still, what's that one called? Which I've got in the trailer, still, it, it, ludicrous mode. I use that one on the slowest setting, the HSA 94T. That hedger is so fast in in setting three that it's almost overkill. So I use that one in level one. Um, but every other hedger I just use in their fastest setting. Same with this one. So it's got a secondary safety handle there, which you do have to hold in considerably. You know, you have to grip it to use it. So it might be worth tying a bit of Velcro or a cable tie around there if you use it a lot, because sometimes that can get a bit fatiguing. And then you just, you know, it's a standard affair, you pull that one in and off you go. It's got an all metal kind of gear housing here underneath and, and this is the actual motor. There's no plastic, no extra fans, no nothing. It's all IP56 or IP54 waterproof, um, which all of the plank tools are, which is a bit of a standout. So if you want, you can do this in the rain. You can hedge in the rain, which isn't fun, but sometimes you do get caught out and you need to finish a job. So that's handy to know. Um, very good unit, to be honest. It cuts really well, very lightweight, very well balanced. The only dramas, as with most of the other commercial tools, is this bloody cable, which means you have to connect it to a battery which you have to wear, which as you probably know from my previous videos, I'm not a big fan of. In Australia where it's really hot, well in Queensland where it's hot a lot of the time, having a battery on your back does my head in. It's just additional heat which you don't want. So basically, you plug the cord in here and there's a little switch at the back of these batteries, which you can press, hold it down for a couple of seconds, it beeps, turns it on, and that's active now. These little red lights tell you what speed setting you're in. So this is speed one. Oh, when you first turn it on, you've got to do the trigger twice, and then it'll come on. So speed setting one, two, three, four, So 
So level four, you're getting, like I said, I think 3,800 cuts per minute, which is pretty good. And as you can see, the tooth spacing is, is wide. I mean, that is super wide, 40 mils. Um, when you start it up, it does a bit of a strange sound like the blower, kind of, kind of rattles, but it's just the brushless motor is kicking into gear, I've been told. And um, once you're up and running, it's all good. So it's a really, like I said, it's a really well balanced machine and it's a joy to use. It's one of my favorite hedges to use actually. I've really enjoyed it. It cuts really well, it's lightweight, it's not fatiguing. Um, this gets in your way sometimes, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, very good hedger, highly recommend this. Especially if you're into the palink gear and you want a hedger, this is the one to get. If you're not in the palink gear and you're looking for a battery hedger, then, you know, I, I would recommend this, but I wouldn't recommend it over, say, the Husqvarna, what is it, the 520i HD60? This is equally as good machine as this, in my opinion, and as is the Steel HSA 94T. I wouldn't recommend the Steel HSA 86 over this. This is in a different league completely. It's, oh, it's just, this is all right, but this doesn't have a twisty handle. The blade speed's pretty slow. Um, so out of all of the main three hedges that I use, this one, uh, which I've been demoing obviously, the Husqvarna and the Still HSA 94T, this is equally as good as all of them. So let's do a comparison between the Palenque battery powered hedge trimmer and the still HSA 94T battery power. Both, both top of the range, commercial grade, battery powered um, hedge trimmers. Just on speed setting number one. I don't really run it on anything else, to be honest. Speed setting one's plenty fast enough for me. Let's put it on three just for the hard Speed is fast. Ludicrous mode. All right, let's swap over to the um, link. See what that sounds like and how that trims. One of the unique things about this hedger actually, thinking about it, is you can buy, you buy the motor separately to the blade when you purchase this, which is why it's more expensive, but you can change the blades then. You can get a smaller one, like a tiny little one. You can get a, a medium size, this one, and then a longer blade. I think it's 75 mils the longest you can go, 60, 50, and 25 or something like that, um, which is very unique. Um, it's very easy to change the blades as far as I'm aware. I have not actually tried changing them, but I think you just undo two screws. To be honest with you, you'd probably want two motors with two different blade size. I don't think I'd want to swap it out. Not while I'm working, it's too slow. Um, so whilst that's good in theory, in actual practice, you'd probably just need two hedges. So, you know, but the fact that you can get different size blades is very unique to the, to the Palink hedger. And that's a very, a very good plus in my opinion. 
Although, you know, I think it's about 650 for the price of this. And then, um, plus your blades, plus your battery, harness, charger, it gets up there. What you do get for your price is a very good commercial warranty with this and with all Palenque gear. Two years of standard and then three years if you pay an extra $85. So an extra year, three years in total. So yeah, that's probably all I need to say about this particular hedger. Um, one of the other ones that has just come out is the, what's this one called? Some of these names are a little bit strange, but this is the Helion. I think that's how you pronounce it, the Helion extendable long reach hedger. Right, it's not extendable, but it is a long reach. And you just push that orange button there. So this is, this is actually a really good unit too. I've enjoyed using this, I only picked this up the other day. It's only just got arrived in Australia, but same deal, you press the button to turn it on. Different speed settings. This has the same blade speed as the other one, 3,800 cuts per minute. And you can go slower. Although I don't know why you would, but you can. Um, obviously, as you saw when I started, when I um, picked this up, you can change the blades 90 and whatever that is, 70. And you can got little increments in between, which is great. Although I much prefer the design on the Husqvarna and I think the steel as well, if I, if I remember rightly, on the steel, you pull the handle down and then you can you can just pull this bit down here and then it, you can adjust the thing so you can basically whilst you're going along you can pull that shake it and you can adjust the, the head you know you don't have to do it with this you can do it with one hand but it, I don't know, it's a little bit more awkward I mean, you get used to it and i have got used to it but i prefer the handle on the on the bar there that you pull down but you can do it one-handed so it's not a big deal Again, pretty large battery on here, or large in size. And this becomes like the trimmer that I showed you in a previous video, it's, it sort of makes up the back end of the, the trimmer. So this connects in here. This is the Alpha 260 battery, and you wouldn't want anything heavier than this because it's pretty heavy as it is. And this is a 
the same 43.2 volt this is a six amp hour battery with 259 watt hours so this will keep you going all day no dramas because these don't use a lot of batteries and you really wouldn't want it any heavier because you know when you got it out there it's pretty heavy um so yeah this is a really good unit but once again so are the other ones i would recommend this one over the over the still i can't remember the name of the still i'll put it up on the screen but um that's all right that still one it's not that great i wouldn't recommend this over the husqvarna i think the husqvarna is better and it's got a faster blade speed this comes with a guard a tip guard let's just turn it off as you can see let's get it a bit closer it comes with this tip guard here which is absolutely rubbish because these still hit hit the edges of the walls if you want any kind of an angle it protects the very front but you need it to come over like this so this just doesn't doesn't do anything it's um strange i don't know why they just didn't put a normal one like like you've got on here that's all we needed just a normal tip guard because this one doesn't work so plank put a normal one on there it's a simple change though you know you could get it changed when you buy it from the dealer so it's not a big drama but i don't know why they put that on there it just i don't know didn't think about it i guess but yeah it's solid very well built good speed cuts through a lot of things you know it's got it's all it's palink quality which is all metal there's, there's very little plastic on this the blower is the worst i think the plastic on the blower that's um it's all plastic basically but that's you know you don't need a blower to be super heavy duty i suppose this needs to be heavy duty the gearing um and this is the motor as well so it's all direct straight into the actual blades which is really good and it's all tough you know it's all waterproof it's yeah it's a good unit and again like with like i've said in the other videos if you want to get plank gear you won't go wrong with this if you're just in getting into battery gear and you're looking to invest in a system in a brand then husky still or, or husqvarna are doing everything just as well really probably husky a little bit better than still in terms of that long reach hedger but um yeah great units these two hedges i'd recommend them and um that's probably all i've got to say on those really yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one